Okay, continuing. Question number 18. This is, I believe, 4.3, right? Continuation. So we have one half log V by base 6 plus log T by base 6. Okay, so what we're going to do? This, uh, we have one half. First of all, since here we have plus, remember, uh, let me remind you real quick, natural log AB by base C is equal log A by base C plus log B by base C. So, which we, is true of the vice versa, which means if I have log A by base C plus log B by base C is equal log A times B by base C. So, which means here I can write down one half, it's going to be logarithm V times T, right, by base 6. Now, the, what is important, the base has to be the same. If you have uh, at, uh, log A by base C, but log B, let's say, by base D, then you cannot combine them, multiply them. So the same thing, we here we have 6, we have 6, that means we can apply the property. So we multiply them. From here, what we're going to do, this 1 half, it's going to come up, right, as an exponent, because to condense, we have, if I have P times uh, log, 8 by base C, it's going to be equal, this P will come as an exponent. So it will be log A by base C to power P. So the same way it's going to be here, log VT by base 6, let me put in parentheses, to power 1 half. 1 half is nothing else but square root, right? Look. Square root A is equal A, this is 1, this is 2, right? It's going to be A to power 1 over 2. Now, since we have 1 over 2, it will become square root of A. So, this is going to be equal log square root VT by base C. Okay? Question number 19. We have one half log x by base two plus log y by base two and minus two log two uh, log by base two x plus three. Okay. So let's go step by step since uh, first we have one half so this one half it's gonna come as an exponent which is gonna be log x to power one half by base two plus log y by base two minus these two also coming as an exponent it's gonna be log x plus three squared by base 2, right? Ah, okay. So, from here we are going to have, actually, let me make it more interesting. Let me take this in parentheses. 
log x by base 2 plus log y by base 2, which means this uh, 1 half, it's going to become for entire this uh, addition, right? And we are going to get here log x, y, because since we have addition, the, here it is, addition, it's going to be converted here. It's going to be converted into multiplication. So we get logarith um, x, y, by base 2 and power 1 half and minus logarith x plus 3 to power 2 by base 2. So what do we have from here? Uh, this uh, 1 half power, it's going to be represented as a square root x, y, right? Here it is. I explained why. By base 2 and minus logarith x plus 3 by a squared by base 2 and this division we are going to convert into I mean this subtraction we are going to convert into division which means when we have log a minus log b it's going to go backwards to division a over b so from here we have since we have the same base right so log by base 2 on the uh, in numerator going to be square root x, y. In denominator, it's going to be x plus 3 square. Number 20. We have log x plus log x squared minus 16 minus log 5 minus log x plus 4. Well, uh, let's get going. So since everywhere, it's 5, rewrite it over again. Since uh, everywhere we have the same base, which is 10, so let's go combining to each other. So first we have here uh, addition, which I'm going to convert into multiplication. It's going to be log x times x squared minus 16. Uh, and then next coming division, because it's subtraction, so which means it's going to be converted into division. Write down here 5. And then another subtraction, which is going to be another division. It's going to be x plus 4. Okay? So... My addition converted uh, at, uh, from addition we get multiplication from subtraction we get division now here what is interesting here uh, we have x squared minus 16 and uh, in denominator we have x plus 4 the thing is x squared minus 16 is equal x minus 4 times x plus 4 right it's a uh, Difference of squared. Remember the formula? X, uh, x squared minus y squared is equal x minus y times x plus y. There by same uh, principle. So uh, which means x squared is going to be x squared. 4 squared is going to be 16. Just like we have here. So which means I'm going to open log x times x squared minus 16. Oops, I forgot I need to open it. x minus 4, x plus 4. And here 5 times x plus 4. So x plus 4 is gone with x plus 4. And we are having here natural log x times x minus 4 over 5. Um, in some books, some cases, they put these um, square brackets. Uh, 
I am definitely telling you that you don't need to put square brackets because we have fraction. You can separate fraction, right? If it would be two multiplications or something, then I would understand so it would be clear. Like uh, if I would have, let's say, log, but xy by base c, then uh, I understand you put in parentheses, so it won't be log x by base c times y separate, okay? But in the case of fraction, there is no need to do uh, uh, encapsulate in parentheses. All right, next one we are going to do um, base change. We are going to do base change and uh, uh, evaluate. So changing of base. So question number 21. All right. What are we going to do? Uh, if we have, let's say, log A by base B, so we want to change to log by base 10. So I can write down log A divided by log B. See? And this way I changed, uh, so practically my log became 10 because I didn't put anything there, right? Okay. So let me bring some basic example. If I have log um, 10 by base, uh, no, let me do this way. Make it more interesting. Log 3 by base 4. Okay. And I won't turn into base 2, uh, base 3. Okay, base 3. So it's going to be log 3 by base 3 and here is log 4 again by base 3 now log 3 by base 3 is equal 1 right because 3 to power 1 is equal 3 right therefore here will be 1 underneath we will have log 4 by base 3 yes that's it okay so we have log 88.5 by base 14 okay so it says use uh, common logarithm or natural logarithm we will use natural log logarithm um, to uh, the common logarithm or natural logarithm and the calculator to evaluate the following logarithm okay so here we will get if we convert to, uh, the, let's say, what, uh, logarithm by base 10, yes, we will get log 88.5 over log by base 10, right? So, if you, uh, this is, we changed by base 10, oh, I have 14, I'm sorry base 10, but it's log 14. Yeah. So if you use calculator for logarithm, uh, the 88.5 and uh, logarithm 14, so this approximately you should get 1.6987. Sometimes when you need to evaluate, you can use calculator. Logarithm by base 10, here we have. Okay, uh, question number 22, we'll do one more. Um, use common logarithm or natural logarithm and the calculator to evaluate the expression. Well, I can use natural log or I can use uh, base 10 or any other. So I have log 25.3 and base 0 0.2 so okay let's go by base 10 again log 25.3 over log 
0 0.2. So if you use calculator, you should get approximately negative 2.0074. Okay, and the last question, question number 23. We have log 76 by base pi. Okay, well, let's convert. It's going to be... I'm going to use uh, natural logarithm, which is going to be ln 76 over ln 7. Okay, let me punch the numbers. Uh, I'm using my iPhone 76 at the natural log. It gives me here 4.3307 divided by, okay. Um, pi uh, natural log it's getting 1.14473 I think I typed it wrong one second it's a pi so pi natural log no it's fine all right so let's divide 4.3307 divided by 1.14473 and we are getting approximately 3.7832 now let's use instead of natural logarithm i'm going to use also uh, logarithm by base 10 so let's go uh, 76 uh, log by base 10 it equal 1.8808 and logarithm pi pi log by base 10 it's 0 0.4972 so which is equal 1 1.8808 divided by 0 0.4972 and that is equal approximately it's like a wavy sign tilde that means approximation let me fix this one also make it looks nice yeah my handwriting not the best obviously and you notice that. 3.78, oh, it get to 7 here. Well, approximation. Seven eight two eight. I would say, because it's after coming another higher number. Okay, so close enough to each other. So approximately. All right. Um, this is all. I finished uh, the rest of the problems. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.